Attack two sides of the field against your opponent and drive them nuts and get easy first downs. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about a play that I've been breaking down in the Panthers playbook. It's the Panthers Gun Empty Bunch. It's the second part of probably a four-part series uh, of the Panthers uh, em Gun Empty Bunch. Uh, you can also find this in Seahawks, and it doesn't show here, but it's also in the Steelers playbook. Uh, this is a really Really, really good play to go ahead and use in your empty bunch uh, gun, empty bunch uh, set, uh, primarily because it does allow you to attack your opponent deep in the far corner. Uh, it's basically an uncoverable route. You have to manually cover it uh, or use some kind of man coverage to cross man type situation. Uh, but it also provides a little spot. Like spot route check that you can actually throw to your uh, throw to your opponent on the opposite side. So he's going to have a dilemma with it. And if you mix it in with a full scheme of multiple plays, it's very uh, very hard to stop. Now, what I like about this particular play, which is curls flats, is that it does have a, f a fast man blitz read, and that's going to be off to the left. Now, I like to take my inside receiver Allen and slide him in. And the reason I do this is just I want to keep giving my opponent the same look uh, as I'm playing different reads. Now, ideally, this play is good if you play it off the left hash because it's going to allow your tight end to get more uh, length of the field to go ahead and catch that deep corner route. Uh, but uh, you don't have to. You can always play it on play it in the middle hash or in the, on, the, on the right hash and still get this get this play to work correctly. Now, what I like to do with this particular play is streak up the running back because I'm going to be showing that to my opponent earlier with the, with the uh, disease spot. And I'm also going to go ahead and take my outside receiver Jones and put him on a flat route. Now, really, my first progression is going to be Brown. He's going to be my read, and he's going to be telling me whether I'm going to be throwing man or I'm going to be throwing zone. Now, if Brown runs straight up, uh, basically, he's going to be in a situation where he can go and pop him for a man, a man blitz right there. So, uh, watch the guy right here. We're going to streak up Gurley and actually put... Uh, Jones on a flat and we're going to watch to see if a defender floats and this little hitch route should be able to pick you up a good 15 yards every time. If you're picking up 15 yards every single play you should be beating your opponent regardless because it's a first down and more every single play and sometimes you can get a spin animation and take off to the races. So right here once again the defender gives me the back I can go and pop that route. Now, uh, that d deep route by the tight end is going to be something you can actually hit to. And uh, just for the sake of this breakdown, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and block my, uh, my ex extra tight, uh, uh, wide receiver there to see if I get enough time uh, for that corner route to develop. So I'm going to have to cut this off a little bit short just to go and get that because the man coverage is pretty tight. Uh, but this is something that you can, you can use against your opponent. Um, for uh, basically to get get some big yards. So let's see if we hold our blocks here. We do, and as you can see right here, we got a big completion with the tight end. We can take that down the sideline. Now, what's great about this particular play is that it's very effective against cover two shells. Once again, we're going to look at Brown, see if a defender floats up. They do, but look at the corner route, wide open for a huge completion. So that's what's great about this play. We're going to slide him over, streak up our, our running back route. We've got basically our, our corner route right there. And you can see this is just an easy completion right over the top of the coverage for 30 plus yards. Now there's even more against cover two is that you've also got this curl and flat combination off the back end side. So you can go ahead and check it down for some easy yards right there if, you, if, the, if the flat plays the top curl. And then another thing that you probably didn't notice previously, or maybe you did, but watch the running back route. Watch how he doesn't get followed, and you're going to get an easy completion right down the middle of the field. So against cover two, unless he puts a, a manual deep blue out there, uh, the mid read is going to carry to that deep corner route, and he's going to be out of position to cover it. And this basically you could just pick opponent apart if he runs cover two against you with this play. Now I'm going to go against random cover threes. Once again, I'm going to streak up Gurley, flat up Jones, and we're going to watch off to the left. Now watch what happens. This guy actually goes ahead, and if he curves in, it's going to give me a read that I'm actually going to be able to get rid of the ball fairly simple. So I want you to watch this read. 
I'm watching this receiver right here, and if he actually curves in, if he doesn't go straight up, that if he runs straight, that's a man read. If he curves in, it's a zone read. And usually what's going to happen, because I've got a flat guy going out, this guy has to play the sideline, allowing me to go and pop my opponent for easy completion. Now, most people use the middle of the field, so they're going to be floating around this area. They're not going to be running over here. They're, the only thing that's going to catch this guy is some kind of a yellow zone on this side, like a yellow buzz zone. But for the most part, people are going to be using this middle of the field, and I actually can basically pop this route uh, on the corner too. That's going to be wide open for me for an easy completion. So quick adjustment, slide the guy over to give my opponent the same look. Got the inside read. Also got the corner route that I can pop that ball down to and get an easy completion to. Another annoying route too is just hitting it flat on the back end side. This is some uh, route that I have not went to yet, but if the defender floats up, just go ahead and take it. So right here, just go ahead and check it down to the other side. So there's no way he can stop all these routes. There's no way his user can be in the area to stop all these routes. So he's going to have to get some fast pressure against you to stop you. What if a guy's using cover four? Well, once again, same type of reads. Guy dips in, he's going to be wide open for an easy completion, and I'm picking up 10 yards. The streak up our running back, flat up Jones. Guy goes out to the flat, but look at the corner route. There's going to be a fairly easy completion with a nice little pass lead to the outside and away. So this is just another play that you can go ahead and throw into your scheme. Um, what I like about is this little, uh, this, uh, curl and flat option round on the back and side. It just allows you to attack your opponent in two different areas. And then you also got that deep corner route that you can attack your opponent with too. Now, if what if you run at stock against cover four? Let's just go ahead and slide this over. Now you've got the little hitch route on the back and side right here that you can pop it down to or, or go ahead and take this corner route too that you can go to too. So just something you can play around with this game. But this is a really, really good play to go ahead and include in your screen. And you can use you can slide it in either side of the field for you. So once again, my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. If you like these tips, make sure you hit the like button. And uh, I'll be rolling out some more uh, more plays out of this Carolina Empty play, uh, bunch Gun Bunch playbook that you can also find in the Se Seahawks and also the Steelers. So once again for your support, thank you, and until next time.